What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a very simple Final Cut Pro technique which is to fade in and out a photo, an image or a logo. So first of all, you need to drag your clip onto your project timeline. Secondly, you need to drag your image over here just to make sure it's at the timeline and do some edits. And yep, it's already squarish and in the center of the clip. And I'm gonna shorten the clip to make it around the same time of the entire video. It's up to you actually. But I suggest to cover the entire duration for easier uh, edits to be done. Next up, you need to create a few keyframes actually. So for it to appear or disappear, you need to change the opacity over here. So what I suggest would be just to go all the way to the front of the clip and create a keyframe over here at the inspector. It's already at 100%, so you need to change it to 0, 0%, and create another keyframe or not, depending if you want to create a, a gradual appearance from the start or from the second keyframe. So from the second keyframe, I'm gonna create a very fast appearance. Just a little, like a few frames, something like that. So let's hit playback. Yep, it's a very fast review of the text logo. And then I'm gonna go back at the end, create a keyframe at 100% and create a keyframe here at 0%. So the entire film will be like this very first appearance of the very uh, logo of my um, other project and then disappears at the end very fast and if you want to change the duration of the logo review you can right click on this clip and select show video animation and as you can see there are a couple of keyframes buttons over here you just change them over like this this will just change the timings of the appearance and disappearance of the logos See, now it takes a longer time to appear and it takes a longer time to disappear. Alright, enough said. You see, this logo is not a PNG file and you want it to be without the white you know, background. Go to Compositing, Blend Mode and click this one. And go to Color or Linear Burn. So I'm going to choose Linear Burn and it's ready like this. So you can change the position of the logo, something like that, to say a corner, and then it will just appear, and wait for it, and disappears. Yep, something like that. Or else you can always change the, uh, the, the blend mode, the compositing blend mode to change it over to subtract and now it's with a black background with some holo in the middle there are a lot of other videos where i can show you guys on how to do this minor editing in detail but this is just some extra bonus quick tips in this video hope you guys enjoy this and please remember to subscribe and like this channel thank you so much and bye bye